2020 may be remembered as a year COVID-19 changed our lives. Looking back over this year, one lesson appears clearer than ever. We are stronger together. This pandemic put all of our structures and processes to the test, facing us with many challenges. The first of these challenges was to keep up with the organization's daily work. Indeed, as COVID-19 devastated the world, animal diseases continue to spread worldwide, threatening to exacerbate the sanitary and socio-economic crisis. Amid the pandemic, it was thus crucial that veterinary services maintain their activities, contributing to ensure food security and subsistence of global populations. The World Organization for Animal Health supported them in their efforts. Our ongoing work to fight animal diseases, address antimicrobial resistance, and help build regional response to sanitary threats continued, unfiltering throughout the year. As the world was placed under lockdown, the organization and its network adapted to a new way of working, ensuring a continuity in our mandate and overcoming the physical barriers imposed by the pandemic. During the COVID-19 crisis, we saw veterinary services around the world step up to support public health authorities by contributing to research activities, testing human samples, as well as providing human and material resources. Time after time, they prove that collaboration among sectors is key to address our common health challenges. Today, more than ever, the One Health approach is no longer a concept, but a reality. This is why the OIE continued to support veterinary services across the world by delivering its mandate to set animal health and welfare standards, to inform and to build capacity. We worked with our network of experts and our partners to better understand the virus and its emergence, and thus enhance our members' capacity to respond to this multifaceted crisis. As we gain perspective on these events, some of our objectives appear with new necessity and urgency. They will be pursued with determination as we enter a new strategic plan for the organization. The first of these objectives is to continue to improve animal health, but through a more holistic approach. To this end, we have already developed an ambitious program to address the protection of wildlife health and better regulate wildlife trade, contributing thus to reduce the risk of spillover events between wildlife, livestock and humans. This program will be implemented in the upcoming years. The second objective is to build on the global digital revolution to improve the sustainability of animal health systems. With better animal health data, all the actors involved in these systems, from farmers to veterinarians, will rely on solid information to manage risks and make their everyday decisions. This data can even be used to guarantee early detection and effective prevention of global health risks with an animal origin. Because veterinary services are at the forefront of many global health risks, the third objective is to ensure access to quality veterinary training for all, notably through distance learning. Our recently released training portal will respond to this need and deliver one health training programs developed in collaboration with the WHO Academy. For more than 10 years, we have been working with WHO and FAO to address challenges at the human-animal-environment interface. But new challenges require new partnerships. In the next few months, the tripartite will welcome the United Nations Environment Programme to enlarge the scope of our partnership. Building on the lesson of 2020, we must, no more than ever, acknowledge that a better global health governance is crucial to meet tomorrow's health challenges. Nobody knows what the future holds, but we do know that emerging disease will continue to remind us 
that the health and well-being of animals, humans and ecosystems are intimately linked. Now is the time to get prepared for tomorrow's health challenges. Now is the time to become key players in the One Health approach. While 2020 may be remembered as a year of COVID-19, let our generation be remembered as the one who strove to build an healthier and safer future for all. For this, you can count on the World Organization for Animal Health. And I can count on you.